All right, here we are, Saguaro National Park East. All right, we made it to Saguaro National Park, Douglas Spring Trailhead. We're gonna hike up to hopefully a waterfall. And then we'll do a loop trail if there's time and get back down to the trailhead here. Should be pretty good. If we do the full loop, we should be able to make it to some old homesteader that had a cabin there and build a dam and stuff. So there should be water there too. So hopefully it'll be pretty cool. These cactus are really big. <laughs> pretty cool. There's Christy standing next to one. Very large. Really tall. All right, well, there's this mileage map. Off we go. They look like they'd be soft. Not the lower. They look like they'd be soft. But they are. Oh, wow. Right? They look like they'd be soft, huh? Yeah, but they're uh, stout. Oh, yeah. Those flowers. All right, looks like we might get some of these in bloom in the spring. Heck yeah. All right, there's a cactus there. What's he doing? It's like a, he's flexing his muscles right there. Check him out. That's a cool saguaro right there. These saguaros are so cool. This one here is the one of many arms. Check it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Visible arms right there. What the heck? Let's add a few more on this side too. You know, we don't normally start a trail at noon on a, in the desert, but we just happen to be having a cold front come through. We're at the tail end of it, and I had a freeze warning this morning, so. What's the high going to be? 60-something? Yeah, we're about 62 degrees right now. 62 degrees in the hot part of the day in the desert in Arizona, so that's not too bad. As long as it doesn't get any much hotter, we'll be all right. Look at those cool, cool to see these saguaros. Oh, wow, look at that guy. He's got all kinds of arms on him, too. neat that's a fat one right there it's all chubby in the middle there you go looks like some of these are starting to sprout that looks like a little pineapple yeah Steve. that is cool so i guess that was the uh the fruit broke it open and you can see the seeds inside it's pretty neat yeah look at those pretty purple flowers and look at the diversity all the different cactus and vegetation the yellows so many saguaros everywhere Pretty. Yeah, you even have the chala with the white flowers mixed with the purples and oranges and the reds of the prickly pear if they decide to 
blossom. Oh yeah. I'm just kind of sad, a little disappointed we're missing. We're going to be missing all of those blossoms, but it's pretty neat. A little bit of a climb on this first segment of the trail, but we're gaining views of the desert and the valley as we go, so it's getting pretty. It's a stair step and climb through this section. It's a good workout. Looks like there's some water staying on that rock where the water comes out of those draws. There's our local wildlife. A lizard hanging out right there. We're heading up that canyon. There's a little switch back in the trail right here. But I was just noticing off this side over here. That's the side you don't want to slip off of. That's a long ways down. And there is water down in the bottom of that. That's pretty neat. And these wildflowers just keep on giving. Look at that. Pretty blue ones. And of course the yellows. And some whites. We're just getting a rainbow of colors up here. <laughs> Phone home. Now well, look at that one. That's pretty. Got a whole bush full of them right here. That is awesome. All right, found some water. Super clear. Yeah, it looks clear. Can't even tell how deep it is, it's so clear. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. We got ourselves a little pink flower coming in right there. I think we're almost to the falls. You can see the little river right here. I think we pretty much gained all our elevation. Just got a little bit to go. And then our other trail heads down across that and all downhill. Clear down to where that dirt is down there. That's where we parked. All right, well, there's some water and that's the difference water makes. Look at that green tree right in the riverbed. All right, we made it to the junction trail, which takes us back. If you do the loop, we gotta go point two more up this trail to get to the falls. Hopefully there's still a little bit of water left in them. Cause I'd love to drunk, dunk my Jar Jar Binks in the water to cool my head. Cause it's getting warm out here. Hey, check it out, I found the OK cactus. It's something like that there all right we made it to the junction we've come in 2.5 we got to go up another 0.2 up to the falls I imagine it's up in that ravine there so every now and again you find some love on the trail heart cactus all right we found ourselves way to the river 
Uh, it's getting cooler. There's some shade and some cedar trees. You can see some water over here in the creek to the left. I mean, it's just pools of water, so I don't know that we're going to see much Waterfall. in the way of waterfalls, but okay. I don't know. Look at this massive cedar tree in this. I don't know what kind of tree this is. Some kind of. I don't know. I don't recognize it, but it's big. Huh. Yeah, there's a big cedar tree there. Some other kind of tree there. These are the leaves on the tree. I don't recognize them at all, but anyway, there's our water. Looks like a little pool of water. Oh, and there's some crows up on the rock up there. I imagine that's where the falls are, is up in that cliff. We'll see. Oh, look at those pretty flowers. Yeah, we even got these ones here. Pretty. All right, we found a sign. Hikers only. Stock. No go. Time to the hitching rail. Looks like we're in this cliffy area here for the water. <clears throat> and hopefully waterfall if there's any water left. Oh yeah, there it is. I see it. Woohoo! Oh, you got some butterflies. Land. All right, well, there's oh, oh, oh. ducks. <laughs> she just scared up some ducks. Well, there's the waterfall. I'm gonna go get a closer look. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Huge tree right here and providing shade. It's a big tree. Lots of shade. I'm going to climb back in here and go look at the waterfall. A little friend coming to see you. Don't be shy. Right behind you. That was a nice place for lunch. It's a lot cooler in the shade right there by the water. Beautiful yeah. falls. Awesome in this view looking out to the valley. Look at that mm -hmm. saguaro out there. So cool. So cool. It's worth the hike. As long as there's water. <laughs> yeah. That's the view looking out towards the valley. Away from the falls. Very different from our right over the falls. Yeah. Quite different. But beautiful really in its pretty. own way oh yeah all right well that was bridal falls we're gonna work our way down and 
do the uh, loop trail, but this granite or marble or whatever it is, it's got these stripes in it. Amazing. Pretty. Anyway, that's our view hiking out of here. Nice views of the valley. Off we go. Oh my goodness, look at the size of that yucca plant. Holy cow. That is up there. I mean, I'll go stand next to it. It's really big. This is massive. <laughs> wow. That's really big. It's a cool section of trail. I'm not sure what these plants are, but they're pretty neat to see. We just came out of that canyon over here with the waterfall. And now we got a nice view of Tucson, Arizona off this saddle right here. Wow, look at those vibrant pink flowers. It's pretty. Yeah, we're getting down to another nice section of trail on this loop that we decided to take. There's a big old towering cactus above us, like legit, all the way around us. And down below us, <laughs> it's just cool. Yeah, this section of trail through here is just fantastic. It's beautiful. You got a good mix of all different kinds of vegetation and cactus and flowers and colors and animals and birds. And <laughs> it's just neat. All right, looks like we made it to the steel tank intersection of the trails and landmark here it's pretty neat there's our sign giving us direction on which way to go and down there in the wash is another sign to help us more let's go check out this tank well looks like people don't know how to take care of their trash all right, here's a concrete tank. Calo West Trail, another trail marker. They got water right here, so this is how they filled the tank. Yeah, these yellows are just popping all through here. So pretty. All right, there's our next trail junction. Just came from this pretty trail here. It's so awesome. And it looks like we've got a mile and a half basically back to the trailhead. This wild horse trailhead is kind of by the the Douglas Spring one that we started at so we'll see another sign that directs us towards Douglas
There's a cool little cliffy canyon area. It's got water down in there too. Not much, but little pools of it here and there. Yeah, that's where the mountain lions hang out. All right, Christy's day is complete. After a lot of hiking, we finally found the vibrant purplish pink flowers of these little baby barrel looking cactuses. Those things are pretty. All right, so that's a dead saguaro cactus. There's the root ball there. And then you can see all the fibers. There's like veins of wood that go up that create the cactus. There's one of the arms that fell off next to it. But this is a dead version of that. Pretty neat to see the differences. Well, all right, we're on point one to go to the trailhead. We're done with this. I think we're about seven miles overall. I think we're about a thousand foot elevation gain on the whole hike. It was a good loop, super pretty. We saw a waterfall on the front end and saw pretty flowers in the back end. So pretty awesome trail, pretty awesome, well, set of trails. It was, you know, like four trails combined to make one big loop. Anyway, it's pretty nice. Douglas Springs Trailhead in Saguaro National Park. Pretty popular trailhead. Lots of cars. We were able to see that waterfall. It's beautiful. No restroom facilities whatsoever around here, so you gotta find yourself a bush to go before you start your hike. All right, well, we're gonna get an air conditioned truck. It's gonna be awesome. Christy's already there. <laughs> All right, well, there's the route we almost did. We started here at Douglas Spring. We're along Douglas Spring Trail all the way to Bridal Wreath Falls. And then we worked our way down to the Aqua Tanks Trail, Three Tanks Trail down to the Steel Tank here. And then we were pretty tired, so we didn't do this loop. We did the bypass through here joined up at this uh, quad section here, five trails come in and then we blitz back to the trail. It's a pretty good loop. All right, we're doing the uh, scenic loop drive in Sawara National Park East. This is just a section of it, it looks really cool. You can get a pretty good idea of how many of them are in here. It's pretty neat. All shapes and sizes and configurations and just pretty neat. <laughs>